Hi, this is Kevin. Today we talk about how many times should you run this building head cleaning functions from Epson. We all running too many times damage my printer. Uh, should I wait two hours between every run? And uh, normally how many times does it take to clean a clock? Uh, when you start uh, talking about uh, how different uh, printers uh, clean their print head. Uh, this is an uh, integrated print head, which is the cartridge and the print head in building one unit. HP and Canon use those kind of print head. Uh, so you put the electricity on those ribbons and uh, the ink uh, spilled from the nozzle underneath. To clean the print head, it used the electricity to heat up the ink inside the cartridge to expel ink. This is the nozzle. And uh, you have two heating elements goes in and uh, you get some ink here. So when you, when you heat it up, you boil, you boil the ink it has it creates a it creates a bubble which you squirt ink out. Okay, so if this thing is totally empty, so the HP and the Canon doesn't integrate the cartridge. It doesn't have a mechanism to suck ink out. So. Um, so basically what you do is you try to heat it up the elements and uh, if you're lucky you can some still get some ink out here so you can squirt ink out however if you totally empty you basically just keep reheating these elements so that's why you shouldn't do too much cleanings and why somebody suggest you do like two or three cleanings and just leave it for a couple hours. As maybe after a couple of hours, you get some ink come in, then you can do the bubble again, okay? And that's the reason um, if you have integrated cartridges, you, shouldn't do, you should not do too much cleanings using the printer's building function. And uh, for those of you who have, have an integrated cartridge, I recommend have a third-party tool like this. You can see it basically is a, has a rubber pad. You put it on. Then you suck the ink from the bottom. And this is the best way and the non-intrusive way to clean an integrated cartridge with, uh, with uh, HP and Canon. I don't I don't know why they don't include this kit when they sell the cartridge. Uh, if you have those uh, new HP cartridges doesn't doesn't have the print head, those are not the integrated cartridges. How does the printer clean this? So basically inside the the ink is hold is held inside. Then you have a hole, and which the printer blows blows air into it. Just have a cartridge here, and here's the outlet. And then you got ink, ink, ink in here, then you have a bladder, which is flat. Okay. And uh, then when you do the cleaning, the printer blow air into the bladder, and then that will squeeze the ink out. Okay. So this way you do need to heat up the the print head, which is which is good. However, you get another problem as okay. Imagine this is the this is the cartridge, and uh, then we go to the print head. The print head. Uh, the print has nozzle is tiny tiny nozzle so you have this typical pr 
problem. You have a tiny opening here, you get a large opening here, and you get a fluid. And uh, you press this to get ink out of here. Um, what's your problem? Uh, if if you remember your high school, and uh, you get a Pascal's principle, and uh, this is exactly how the hydraulic jack works. Uh, instead, you are not uh, jacking a car from the little end to the bigger end. Uh, instead, you are using a car to jack up <laughs> the smaller end. And uh, so it'll be difficult. So how's Epson clean it? Epson actually clean exactly the same way as this. So it has a pre-net. Then underneath the pre-net, it has a divided rubber pad. It depends on how many print, uh, print row of, of, of uh, uh, nozzles you have. Some of you have one or some of you have two, but there's a rubber, there's a rubber uh, chamber to capture the pre-net. And underneath, there's a pump. I suck the ink out of here and uh, dump it out to the waste pad. So basically, this is the most advanced, the, the best way uh, to, to clean your print net. Uh, however, you often see is uh, if you do uh, two or three cleanings, it doesn't help you at all. And uh, sometimes the second, the third cleaning, uh, the printer become even worse. How can you be worse than you started? Uh, the reason is this. Although Epson had a good idea, it doesn't have a good contact between this and the pre-net. To get a good sucking, you have to run multiple, multiple times to get a one time that it actually sucked. And this is why uh, sometimes your second one is worse than the first one, because the first one, so so basically Epson cleaning has uh, three functions. One is uh, shaking, They're shaking the car, shaking the car, shaking the carriage, try to shake the ink. Then I use a rubber wiper to wipe the uh, print head. Uh, it's kind of like a windshield, uh, it's, it's like a windshield wiper. Uh, a web underneath to make sure that you don't have anything underneath here. Third one is sucking. And this is the one, It I think it doesn't always do that. It's, it only do it a couple times. So if you have a three cleaning, you might only have one of them actually do the sucking. Therefore, the result will be the same or even worse. Uh, here's a top-down view of the uh, underneath the printhead. You can see this is the rubber wiper. They wipe the bottom of the printhead. Uh, here's the rubber chamber, and uh, it attached the bottom of the printhead and the suck and the suck it with a pump underneath. Uh, to be able to suck effectively, you need this. Uh, little sucker to come up strongly against the bottom of the print head. Uh, so Epson designed this uh, sort of like escalator uh, white uh, plastic on the, on the right. Um, however, I don't think it's strong enough. That's why the sucking is not always done. So basically, I think Epson has a sucker erection problem. Uh, to show you how it works, I'm going to bring uh, borrow the video from another project, uh, which is a continuous ink system. And uh, here, the there's a tube coming into the print head. So <clears throat> you can see it is white now because it's filled with air. Just imagine is uh, a, a huge bubble inside the print head that you want to get rid of. So we're going to run the cleaning. 
see how many times and uh, we can suck ink into the printhead and uh, how many times we need to run to uh, to have a perfect nozzle check. And now it's wiping the printhead. You can see the first cleaning only did the first two functions. It did not suck ink. So those tubes still empty. Now let's do the second one. Uh, still not sucking. Okay, finally get some colors. You can see there's still air bubbles in the magenta color. So I bet it won't print perfectly. Uh, if I tap on it, you can see the air bubble get dissolved back into ink. This is exactly why the, uh, the Epson want to shake the cartridge during the cleaning. Uh, remember the air bubbles in the magenta color? So now you can see that the magenta still need uh, sucking. You thought it gonna be easy, didn't you? Actually, I didn't do any sucking this time either. Uh, many people may already uh, give up after third and fourth try. Actually, uh, what you should do is just keep on clogging. Almost there. Because it, it takes about eight cleanings, uh, eight cleanings. I'm going to clean uh, one once more. Uh, this is when it seems you're making things worse. Mm. Don't worry, just keep going. Okay, 11 times is a charm. Perfect. Uh, so next thing you'll do is just keep printing a page every day and uh, uh, at least print a page every day. So just maintain this printer and you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing so much cleaning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.